rise the coattail of dopamine, mm. right? So if you have a habit in particular that you look forward to, right? It could be eating. It could be going on a vacation. It could be calling somebody on the phone. It can be a number of things that you find to be happy and pleasurable for yourself. You put another habit, right? A new habit that you're trying to accomplish in front of that goal, right? So I need to do a hundred pushups before I eat lunch. I need to write for five minutes before I have dinner. I need to uh, write down my goals before I watch TV, right? Mm -hmm. Something that I know I want to do. Um, so let me go in here. It is the anticipation of a reward, not the fulfillment of mm -hmm. it that gets us to take action. So literally by just setting yourself up to say, if I do X, I will get Y. That's already going to drive you towards the action. You're already like, okay, I can't wait to eat. Let me go ahead and knock out this five minutes. Ooh, I can't mm -hmm. wait to spend time with my queen. Let me go ahead and read this one page of the book. It's the anticipation of the reward that's going to release the dopamine and get you to act and do that one habit. And then now dopamine is associated with this habit. But and then once you get the reward, you also release even more dopamine as well. So it's kind of double reinforcing that new habit. Okay. Habit stacking. One of the key, there's a lot of good good nuggets in here. It's, it's a, great, a great book. It's a great one. Um, one of the keys so y'all can really start to implement these wealthy habits in your life. Queen, anything else on habit stacking or atomic habits in general? Um, just that it doesn't have to be a big thing. Like it can literally be, I, I mentioned 100 push-ups. It could be five squats. Yeah, two-minute rule. Yeah, two-minute rule. Mm. I don't, can you, I remember that concept, but I don't remember the actual rule. <laughs> there was so much confidence in, yeah, the two minute rule. <laughs> and I was like, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> don't, he's going to ask me to define <laughs> right, it. I no, know. no, 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 pineapples. I'm not ready. Um, so the two minute rule is exactly what the queen was about to say. Let's say your big goal, right? The real goal is to do 50 body weight squats per morning. Your small goal should be what can you accomplish within two minutes? Mm -hmm. Right. So it could be literally just putting on your shoes mm. to do the squats. It could be doing five squats. If your goal is to walk around the house, it could be or walk around the, the block. It could be to leave my house and lock the door. That's mm. that's the goal. And then after that, it's almost like momentum. Why not? Will carry me. Right. Because if you're already if you're already doing five body weight squats, I mean, not sure everyone's ability, but it's like you can go ahead and do seven. You can go ahead and do six. Right. If you're already out the house you might as well at least walk down the block and come back. So by doing just a two minute rule and setting your mind, hey, I'm just gonna do this. It almost sets you up immediately for that next step that can go right after that. Right? Uh, so again, really good nuggets in Atomic Habits. Definitely make sure you just at least watch a YouTube video on it. It's a good one. And maybe we'll do a whole video on just nuggets that we've taken from Atomic Habits. I think we should do those more often just on a personal note, like read some good books mm -hmm. and then do highlights of those books even just for ourselves to know it later on because yeah. i'm pulling stuff from atomic habits for the launch it book that i'm doing because mm. it's like i'm not gonna make up habit stuff right the, the genius already created it <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and tell the people reading my book hey do these things that james clear said you should do right